Hey guys, welcome to part one of my Xbox 360 controller input tutorial. So in this tutorial we'll be learning how to use a USB Xbox 360 controller on your computer and uh, be able to attach uh, inputs to that controller itself. So if you press a key on the keyboard or mouse, um, you can also link those controls to your Xbox 360 controller and use that. And so we're just going to be going through the basics of how to set that up. Now in this one, I'm just going to be going over the basic buttons and how to set those up. Um, in the next one, we'll be going over the joysticks themselves and having a character running around in 3D if you want to get that set up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to Edit, and then we're going to go down to Project Settings and Input. Now in here, these are pretty much the settings for keyboard and mouse that are already set up, um, but we're going to have to add more to this than what's listed here, because we want separate inputs for our 360 controller. Now I should say that um, you're not just stuck with uh, setting these controls up for a 360 controller, you could also do it for a gamepad. So if you have like a Logitech or anything like that, um, you can also program the inputs for that. So what we're going to do is you want to change this to 31 so we have a longer list to add stuff is we're going to be adding new inputs for those controls on the controller. So the last one was jump, so we want to go down to this one here. And now your naming convention should be something that you can remember and easily link it to this. So what I'm just going to type in is 360 underscore and then a button. This way I know it's a 360 controller and it's the a button for the input. Now for these other settings, um, there's an easy way to figure this all out if you guys are new to doing this. Um, you can jump right on here on the Unify Community website. Um, this is a pretty good place where you can find a lot of code and a lot of simple tutorials on how to do stuff. Here they have a 360 controller mapped out, so it tells you each one of the uh, triggers itself, or the different button layouts and whatnot, and what they're all linked to in Unity. So we can scroll down here and they have the buttons right here and they have each one set up. So since we're going to be doing the A button right now, uh, it's joystick button zero. So this is the text you're going to want to copy and paste into Unity. Or you can simply just go here and change that to zero. And so this is linked to our A button. So what we want to do now is we want to jump into our code. And so we just need a simple piece of code to mess with. Um, I think I'm just going to mess with this real quick. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this code. Um, another thing you could do what would probably be better is before this or inside of this, put the two keys and then if you press either one, it activates this piece of code. Just so you, you're not doing what I'm doing, which is just adding an or statement. Um, so pretty much what this does is if this code is correct or this code is correct, when you press either of these buttons, it'll activate the code. So yeah, it's a little more code, but uh, oh well, it's tutorial right now. Um, so we want to change this from get key down to get button down. Or if you wanted, if you're doing like an arcade style game, you can just do get button. And while you're holding down the button, it'll fire. So, or if you're doing like a shooter game or anything like that. And yeah, so we'll jump back in here and we named it 360 a button. So we'll just copy that code just to make it easier and we want to replace this. So now we have our two inputs set up. We can use either of these inputs in our game and get it to work. So I'm just going to hit control S to save, bring back up unity, and we can go in here and test this out. Now I have my 360 controller hooked up currently. Um, if you're going to want to, if you do want to test with a 360 controller, you're going to have to get a wired one. Uh, they're not too expensive. They're like 34 bucks at Walmart or wherever you go. Um, but you need the ones with the wire built in. If you get the one that's wireless with the cord plugging in, that just charges it. it you're, it's not going to get a signal to the USB itself. It's just for charging. So you want to get the wired one. And so yeah, we're in here and I'm holding my controller and if I just press A, 
it will open up my inventory. And I can keep pressing it and opening and closing it. Now, if I go on my keyboard, I also have, have it bound to I. If I press I, it'll open and close it. So, I mean, if you want to switch through, if someone wants to use a controller for the game and then wants to switch the keyboard, they can. Um, whichever people prefer. So, I would just leave both those settings in there. Um, doesn't really matter what people are using. But yeah, that's the basic way how to set up a 360 controller. Um, I'm just going to show you really quick how to map out the next one if you want to go through that list. So now we're going to be doing 360 underscore B button. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to go through every single component because it's listed here on the wiki and it would just take too much time in the tutorial. So if you guys are interested in mapping out your controller, uh, you could just go through each one of these and set it up exactly what they say it's linked to. So the B button is joystick button one. So we'll jump back in here and we'll change this to joystick button one. So if you wanted to add another piece of code, just do the or statement again. And uh, instead of 360 A button, you can just do 360 B button. And every time you press down the B button, it will activate the code. So yeah, guys, um, in the next tutorial, we'll be going over the joysticks, and I'll be teaching you how to uh, control the sensitivity of each one. So if it's on like the outer edge, make the character move faster. If it's more closer to the center, it'll the character will move slower, and vice versa. So, yep, stay tuned for the next tutorial, and yep.